Hey everyone, it's Sonic Wolf, and welcome back to more Let's Play Earthbound. In the last episode, we went back to Onet and discovered that things have actually changed. Yes, the Gygas army has taken over one town. And in this episode, we are going to be doing possibly the, um, the third to last episode of Earthbound. There is also going to be a bonus feature, but it's going to be a bit hard to actually do all this research. But anyway... You want to give him the, 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 the Zextony. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. The, the Zextony. I think that's what it's called. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, that's totally fine. But anyway, you want to give him that, that meteorite piece. Like, as so. So it is very, int very intriguing. All right, leave everything to us and you get some rest. This is getting most fascinating. So yes, this is going to be a battle of epic proportions. And what he said there is you want to rest first. So let's get to it. Oops. Wrong thing. Um, also, I'll, off screen, I was also doing the inventory thing again. You know, because I don't want to waste too much time, time actually showing you where all the items are. So, what I'm actually going to do is, after you talk to D Dr. Internet and rest in Saturn Valley, there's actually going to be something really special in the Hints area, so I'm going to teleport to... Um, anywhere? I, I'm going to try Summers, just to see... Because I think that might be the closest area to the Hint Man. Yes, there is a man that gives you Hints, but you have to pay a fee for it. I always hate paying fees for hints. Yeah, that is kind of annoying for a lot of people. Like, you know, paying fees for extra food or paying fees for taxis. Yeah, yeah, fees are always a pain, but... Anyway, you want to talk to this hint guy, which... I actually don't know where he went. The, the one I always go to is in Foreside. Oh, there he is. Here, watch this. I have no more hints for you. You've done such a good job to this point. From here on out, trust your judgment and also your luck. Yes, once you've actually talked to Dr. Internet and give him the meteorite piece, and then rest in a hotel, then this guy will not give you any hints. So yes, that's a bit of a trivia note for you. Um, also, this is what my inventory is. I need to get rid of a lot of bags of Dragonite, just to free up a lot of inventory, but you don't really need to, but it's optional. We have a lot of, we have a, a lot of super plush bears, a uh, reason for that being is because you want to have, have like an army just to like shield you from a lot of enemies, because they're going to be annoying to get through, yeah, annoying to get through. So we have a couple of magic truffles, which will be good for healing. Uh, Jeff. You want to give him the rain pendant because the final boss we're going to encounter, you really need the rain pendant. I learned this the hard way because I did a practice run and it was it was a bit odd, you know? Bring in about four multi-bottle rockets or maybe three if you're lucky, as well as a few skip sandwich X DX because you need the speed is really important for this part. And for Pooh, get about three bottles of DX water, as well as about two or three brain food lunches. So yes, my inventory is almost full, but you want to have at least two empty slots here, because uh, there's going to be two items that we're going to get in this episode. So I'm going to teleport Beta. I am decided to do teleport Beta because I'm lazy. And we're gonna go to Saturn Valley, and I'm gonna rest, and then we can encounter the next stage. So I'll be back in about one minute! Okay, so now that we are fully healed, we're gonna talk to Dr. Internet and see what's our next stage gonna be. Finally, it's complete. The Phase Disorder Version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Um, also, I forgot to mention, you want to save at Saturn Valley before you enter in the Phase Disorder, because... 
if you save after you went in phase disorder, then you are stuck there forever. I'm not kidding. You want to save in reality before you can enter that phase disorder, and trust me on this. Don't be afraid, get in. You know, get right in. There is just one thing though, you might not be able to return, so make sure you're optimally outfitted. Are you ready to go? Yes I am, I've already shown them how you can prepare for this part. Even if you're not 100% perfectly completely ready, well, you should be as prepared as possible. It would be for the better, for the best. Without careful preparation, you would be in big trouble. Yes, even the game is telling you this. I just want to make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. Yes, my preparations are fully completed. We have some healing items, like here. Um, I forgot to mention the the piggy jelly at uh, Saturn Valley. I would recommend you get the brain food lunch because even though they have the same amount of HP, the brain food lunch would also give you some PP, roughly about 40, and that's going to be helpful for tough enemies. Yep. Yes, you've already mentioned this. So let's go in. Yeah, it can repair your body, which is what you need, but you don't want to save your progress at this point. So yes, in this segment, you do not want to save, because if you do save in this segment, then you're screwed, and you have to, like, yeah, if you run out of items, you have to start the whole game all over again. And yes, that is a pain in the ass to do. So you want to go in here. You want to go life up. Do not go to communicate, because if you do go communicate, then that's your own fault. We're going to do a full life up. So input your command. Okay, so continuing on, we have this really awkward music, and this place looks very familiar. Greetings, so are finally here. Did we just got healed twice? I guess we have. Excellent, you are truly excellent. There is only a little time left. I'll give you the last power. I must go now. So Pooh became conscious, uh, co uh, co consciousness of PSI Starstorm Omega. Now this power up Starstorm Omega, in my own opinion, it's kind of pointless because, you know, Starstorm Omega, it's like a more powerful version of the Starstorm Alpha, but yeah, it doesn't really have any like higher amount of hit points. And plus we are at the end point of the game. You want to look at here at the Broken Phase Disorder, so we've discovered that there's actually two of them now. And there is a Horn of Life, you want to get that. You can also do Healing Gamma, but yeah, I just prefer Healing Gamma, if you're out of PP. Can I touch this root? No, I can't. Yeah, so... Yeah, we actually went into the world of hopelessness. I call it that, just because. The Phase Disorder has been completed. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Gargas is attacking from our exact location, but he is attacking from many years in the past. This is very hard for me to tell you, but... You must warp to the past and fight, but... We hear too! Doing! You must warp to the past and fight, but... This is very hard for me to tell you, but... Come on, just tell us! Just tell us already! In order to defeat... In order to defeat Gaius, who is attacking from the past, you must warp to the past. This can be done by the way of the phase disorder free. However, the machine cannot warp living things. I mean life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish the time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot and send the robot to the past. Okay, wait a second. You're saying that Gygus is attacking from many years in the past 
And in order to get to the past, we have to put our brains into robots by opening our skulls, transferring the brains into robots so they can transport us back in time. And then, and then now they're telling us that they will never know if we will go back in person. So we can only go, so we can't go back in spirit. Are you nuts? Yeah, I guess this is nuts. Um, yeah, sure, what the hell. Let's just get this over with. That, that you may not be able to return to your current form, right? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Well, not actually not. I don't know what to say here because this is way too weird. Ness, please give me that red cap. Ready? Stand by. Now listen to this. He has a drill! And he must be drilling into our heads just to take out our brains from our skulls. And then transplanting them into robots. So that the robots can go into the Phase Disorder 3 and then the Phase Disorder 3 will travel back in time just to defeat an entire army of Gygas's army. Yes, this is the most weirdest part in the entire game. And they even drilling um, Dr. Internet's son. That's kind of scary. I wonder what happened to the teddy bears that they forgot? Ness, Polo, Pooh, Jeff, my son. Yeah, they forgot Jeff. There is no turning back now. Ness, activate the phase disorder free by your own hand. Thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Yes. Only a few people will know of your amazing courage, but the number of people you save through that bravely is immense. I feel very fortunate to, to be present at the beginning of this um, monu monumental undertaking. I wonder what we're gonna look like as robots. Are we gonna be like Terminator, Mega Man? I'm kind of excited to see what we look like. This is it? What a ripoff! Yeah, okay, fine. I guess we can't be the Terminator. Let's repair. D do not go communicate. And trust me, you do not want to communicate. And here we are in the past of the Cave of the Past. We actually have some enemies here. We have. Oh, I was not expecting that. This is the. The Squatter Demon. The Squatter Demon is just like a tent. Well, from uh, Freed, I think. So what you want to do is you want to uh, use mostly fire attacks, but also some basic bashing. Now the attacks that the Squatter Demon will have, it will use the Shield Killer, it will use the Hypnosis Alpha, which is bad, but also they can use Poisonous Fangs, so you want to be careful. So use the heavy bazooka and Jeff. Yeah, yeah, Jeff, use the attacks and Pooh, use some attacks. Okay, good. It did not work on the plush bear. This is why you need a lot of these plushy bears just to give the characters extra protection. And yes, they 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 can act, there is actually a two in one twenty eight chance of them dropping the horn of life. So I I wasn't really thinking about it, but. Hey, at least it's something. Now, in this part here, you want to use the Skip Sandwich DX. The main reason is because we're gonna run through, uh, we're gonna run the hell out of a lot of enemies here. Because it can speed up the process a little bit better. Oh, we have another new enemies. The Ultimate Octobot, as well as the Wild and Wooly Shambler. I'm gonna get rid of this one because this one is a pain, honestly, because he's actually one of these enemies that can use stealing. Yes, they can steal items from you. Yes, that he actually stole my DX bottle of water in my practice run. Yeah, these guys are not too tough to take out. Oh, yeah, it didn't actually work. So, these ones are not too hard to take out. You can just use basic 
bashing, I was targeting at the wrong enemy. Let's do that. Yeah, so the Octobot is gone. Oh, I forgot to mention, the Octobot can use um, Paralysis Omega. I, Yeah, it's Paralysis Omega. I, I hated that because you have to use Healing Gamma to, fear, to free everybody. And the Wild and Wooly Shambler is gone. These ones are not too hard, but hey. Now let's run like hell. Okay, it's it's only one enemy. It's, oh, not you. Not you. Let's get rid of you. Because I don't like you. Especially with your creepy face. Okay, good. It did not actually work. So I guess the plush bear has really saved us from hypnosis. So that's a relief. So yes, you want to go Rambo Commando on... In this entire level, because... Yeah, there's some butterflies here. How did the butterflies survive through... Um, the phase to sort of free? I thought they said that... Living... Uh, living beings would be demolished. Here we have some new enemies, or one of the new enemies, the Nuclear React Robot. This one is way tougher than the robot we encountered in um, in the underground cave where the, the Starman Deluxe is. So, what you want to do is we're going to get rid of this one first, because that's going to be a pain in the ass. And we're going to do PSI Sigma Gamma. Oh, yeah, PSI um, Sigma, that's the one. Let's do this, and do this. So yes, whenever you see the the Starman here, you want to put up a PSI shield up. So PSI Sigma or Omega, but I would suggest Sigma most of all. Oh good, the bear is actually protected by the shield. So yes, they can do Star Storm Alpha. They can also do Star Storm Omega if they did the whole counter free thing. Bash him, bash him, bash him, and shoot him. Okay, that one's gone. Now, you're next, buddy! Alright, come on. No, don't heal yourself. Let's do this, and do that. And that should be good, I guess. There we... Th there we go, finally he's gone. Now let's mash the L and... A button. Also, a bit of a note here, uh, there's actually going to be a part at the end about this whole piracy thing at the final boss, where if you're at the second stage then the game will just uh, reset and will- oh thank god it's not a back attack. Basically all the save states will uh, go blank and you have to start the whole thing all over again. So. Yeah, that's actually a bit of a pain to do, so... Uh, let's try... Freeze Gamma? I'm hoping that freezing works on the Oct Octobot, but we shall see. 165, 248... Oh, God damn it. That's okay, but not very effective. Okay, good, that one is... has been... Know, frozen to death. So that means we got the upper hand. Come on! Okay, good, I didn't one KO Polar. So now let's go all out. And by all out, I mean just bashing because we want to save up a lot of PP for some healing and some powerful attacks. 155, 247. Can you please just turn to rust? There we go. 695. And the plush bear became fluff, but that's okay. If it hits the bear, that means it won't attack the others. Yeah, I've just figured that out. So, vit oh, Vitality went up by one. That's good. Let's go, 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 go. Um, okay, so I might have used up the sandwich. Okay, so as soon as the sandwich runs out, you want to use another one immediately because their speed is going to be really helpful in this part. 
So now we're going to do life up Omega. Life up Omega is really good. Yeah, I forgot to also mention this part has some really creepy music here, but in a good way. So now we got our final bat, the legendary bat. Unfortunately, you cannot drop the Magicant bat, which is a shame. So we're basically having a secondary bat as a burden. Yeah, that totally sucks. Speaking of totally sucks, we have two enemies encountered us. Oh, 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 two smash attacks in a row. That is just unexpected. 256. Now let's go all out on this on this douchebag. 144, 314, 153. I really hate this guy. He's so annoying. Just like all the enemies in this game. Um, also, I'm gonna have to mention this. At the third, at the third part of this whole maze we're gonna do, there is actually a new enemy, which is, um, which is called, um, so it's called the Bionic Kraken. And yes, the, these are actually the enemies that does drop the gutsy bat. Yeah, the typo in the player's guide, that's, that is actually the enemy that drops the gutsy bat. Our new enemies are just the nuclear robot, or, as well as the ghost of Starman. Basham, PSI Shield Sigma, Jeff, Heavy Bazooka on this guy, and Pooh. Uh, since you have some PP, how about, I'd say, Freezing Gamma? Hopefully he can solidify. Thank god, that is a huge relief. Because solidifying is very effective. Okay, we didn't even attack. What is wrong with you? Oh, whoops, wrong enemy. Yeah, I forgot you can use the D-pad to switch enemies you want to attack at. Yeah, this is basic gameplay 101 here. So bash him, shoot him, and bash him and shoot him. Come on! What? what, he dodged? How could he dodge? His legs are kind of stiff. Yes, yeah, so that means he can't really move. Ah, right. oh, damn it. He should have shot the teddy bear, come on. Okay, go, 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 go! Run, run! Let's enter this orb. This can actually um, teleport you to the next stage. Um, uh, you know what? Let's just do life up Omega. Oh, whoops, I did not meant to do that because I was pressing the button too much. Oh, we have a new enemy. This one's the final star man. The final star man is way tougher than uh, the ghost of star man. They can use uh, star storm alpha and omega. They can use healing omega. They have shield beta. They can also do brain shock. Yeah, this is not going to be fun. We're going to put up some shields behind us. Uh, let's try this one. Uh, you want to be careful about it because they can deflect the attacks at each other like pinballs. So, just take cautious whenever you're using a PSI Shield Omega. So, just be careful. Uh, do not- I- I- I suggest do not use PSI Star- Star Storm because they can def- Because they have a PSI Shield on. And I kind of forgot to mention that the Starry Man have the Psychic Shield. So you want to be careful. And whoops, I fired at the wrong per wrong person. And oh yes, I actually forgot. The final Starry Man, they can actually revive dead enemies. Okay, that's... That is... A lot closer than I expected. So now we're going to bash him. That's all we have to do. Oh, hey, it actually works. I guess basic bashing is really effective. Just like the Pokemon series. Go up. 
Oh, whoops, wrong area. Let's use the final skip sandwich. You know, so we can use up some inventory. Uh, pull it, use it. Go up. Uh, wait, how did we get a front attack? Okay, so it's not the Bionic Kraken. Well, at least we can... Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Heavy bazooka. Bash. I could have put up a psychic shield, but... Hey, at least we got rid of them without any injuries. Well, I hope I don't jinx it, because that would definitely suck. Shoot. Bash. So Ness is protected by the psychic shield. Paula, Jeff, and Pooh, and the super plush bear is protected by the psychic shield. There we go. I thought this was going to be way tougher than I thought, because I barely survived that part when I did the practice run. Okay, we're doing good so far, and we're at this part. Now, I want to see what the remaining enemies are, because... Oh, yeah, I don't think we have the Bionic Kraken. That totally sucks. I have got the Bionic Kraken before, uh, many, many years ago, but I guess I just had to deal with what I have. PSI Shield Sigma, Heavy Bazooka, and Freeze Gamma. See how you play out. Yeah, I actually keep forgetting to mention, this is actually my very first, uh, oh no, oh no, everybody brace yourselves. So Paula and Jeff and, oh, oh no, oh no, 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 God damn it. No, 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 no. Mm. Paula put up the shield after the star man used his attack, son of a bitch. Okay, let's do life up gamma on Paula so we can put up the shield. Uh, do you have any good items? No, you do not. Let's try freeze gamma on him. Hopefully he can solidify. But I doubt he will go down because I could go that means he didn't What? How did that not even work? Come on! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm not going to do Mirror because that means Ness will be on his own. Uh, I'm not going to do PSI Star Storm because that will make the bomb explode. No! Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you know what? Uh, plan B. Life Up Gamma. Um, Paula. Just do freeze Omega. Let's get rid of him for real. And Pooh, I would suggest uh, healing Gamma on Jeff. What? How did that not even work? Oh no! Oh, oh no! He's doing it's counting down. He's doing the counting down. Okay, 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 just calm down, calm down, everyone calm the hell down! Please, please, please... Oh no, 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 yes, 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 No, 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 okay, good. <laughs> yes, 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 no, 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 yes. Oh, that was... Uh, that was way, way too close. I thought I was going to lose everyone for, for a minute. But I kind of doubt you would get a game over at this part because... Oh, thank god it hit the plushy bear. Yeah, I doubt that you would get a game over because Ness is kind of overpowered. Okay, that's good. So now we can enter this part here. 